so centered. The clay was quite soft, it's so I, soft. Did, yeah, I, soft. I know I was. I, I wedged in some of that extra fine grog. Um, yeah. So we'll see if that helps. Uh, yeah, so do we have the grog here, Denny? Or yeah, I brought some okay. out Thank in, you. in okay. a container. Probably not a bad idea. Port container. So when I open it up, I mean this is the the critical thing when you're going to do this little pot on the inside. Um, going to go down, but um, not going to go down, of course, as far as, as what I would do um, for a, a regular form. So I'm going to stop when it's when I think I probably have about an inch of clay mm -hmm. in the middle, and then I'm just going to go off center a little bit and then continue down. So I've left that little lump of clay, and actually I think I probably have more than what I need, but it's much easier to do it that way than end up with less. Yeah, not have enough. That's fine. All right. You want that little thing to be how tall? Well, I mean, that's not too critical. I, I at least an inch and I would say an inch and a half. And that would give you enough room for, um, you know, all the hardware underneath the cord, so so the cord isn't you're not bending it too sharply when you're feeding it through the side. So, all right. So I've got the rest of my bottom. Just gonna forget about that and recenter that little. Yeah, this is a lot more clay than what I need. So now I'm going to open that up. Just go straight down. And I'm going all the way to the wheel head. And stretching it out. So it's out about... I mean, this isn't super critical as far as how the diameter of it. If it's easier for you to, to make it wider, because of you know your your own skill level, I mean that's that's just fine. So why would it be easier? Just to to get your fingers in there. You know, I'm just I'm just using one finger on the inside that works for me. Um, so pulling it up, so I've got about you know like I would any little pot. The thickness. Um, I'm just gonna go down a little bit further with the rest of the floor of the pot. So, so now, um, actually, I think I'm gonna trim, take off just a little bit, so I don't need quite that much. up again just to capture a little more clay. Kind of rounding that off, just finishing it up with my finger. That should be close to, yeah, that's, that's the right size. So, okay, so I got that done. No one's going to see the inside of that box. So <laughs> don't, don't have to make it. I mean, it you you want neat. it to be. <laughs> Right. You want it to be neat, but it, it's not like you're, you, you have to worry about the form too much. The
critical thing, of course, is the size of that opening. You can so make it half the height that it is, right? That's you can, although, you know, like I said, if it, if it gets too short, yeah. um, then, I mean, you have to have a hole in the side for the cord to feed through. Mm -hmm. So you don't want it too short, so I that see. cord, you know, if, if it's close to the bottom, then you, you're going to have to um, really kink that that cord to get to be through. So um, better to make it, I mean you want it to be at least I would say inch and a half. Mm -hmm. So uh, now I am just going to start throwing my pot. And because I'm going to have to collar it in, I, I want to, I don't want to let this top part get far out unless you know my intention is to to make that second form to sit on top to finish it so of course as you're doing this you yeah. really want to be bump. careful so you don't <laughs> bump that little thing on the inside you know I have done that So you really want to make sure that you've got all of your, all that slip and water off the bottom too, so you're not... So you don't get a crack. Right. It's once you, um, you know, start closing this off, you're not going to be able to get in there at all. I'm starting to, to constrict this at this point because, you know, before I've done the final pulls because if I wait until I'm done pulling it, it's going to be much, much harder and, you know, I'm going to run the risk of, um, of twisting that clay. You know, this is especially soft, so I'm having to be a little more careful. You could still reach down to the bottom? Yeah, yeah I can still get it. going to mop out the inside, careful with making contact with the little pot. 
careful not to drop your sponge in there. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Okay, now I'm going to do the shape. I'm going to keep a wide bottom. Just have it expand out just a little bit. Okay, because I'm going to color it in, instead of continuing with that form like that all the way up, I mean, you can see that um, I'm just starting to change the, the direction of the form, you know, so it's more convex, and that way I can constrict it. Now, if Let's say you get to this point and you just can't, you're losing control. Um, you know that you can't do this, this last part where you're closing it off so you have that small opening. Just stop, let it get leather hard. You can always take a slab or throw a small plate, sit it on top and then recenter it and make that hole. So don't, like I could stop now and, and you know, let it get harder. So I could roll out a piece, uh, you know, set it on there, trim it, uh, trim an opening for the rod to go through. And as long as it's recentered, it's going to line up because that that bottom you part. Snap? Right. You know, just cut a round piece that would sit on top to finish. So, oh, like I did with the hand build the hand piece. Oh, Basically, you're going to hand build okay. to finish it. So I mean. That is something that you could do if, um, if you're struggling after you get this far and you know that you can't um, finish it with the, the small opening on top. Have you experimented with, with making, um, you were talking about the wide base, and it is certainly true that when you put a lampshade on a lamp, mm -hmm. you don't want it to be tippy. Is there a sort of, a, you know what I'm saying? The proportions, you mean? Yeah, to make sure the lamp is stable, that it's not uh, going to fall over. Right. Well, I mean, that's, that's why I think it's important to have a bottom, you know, a clay bottom, instead of having this, Wait. this bottomless cylinder mm -hmm. for the weight and then of course I mean, you're, you're going to want to um, to have the right size harp you know I mean you can have the 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 part uh, that holds the harp and then you can make uh, decide the height of the harp which holds the shade you know and, and that would be determined by the height of your your piece and also the shade, the kind of shade. So, I mean that you're not you don't have to commit yourself to uh, to the height of your harp right away. I mean that can be any size. You know they come in anywhere from you know six inches to you know I don't know what the the tallest ones are, but I mean you'd only have that for a you know, very large. The harp is, is the, the heavy metal loop. It, um, I didn't bring it with, I took it off the pot. I didn't think. Oh, like the bit that kind of holds the lampshade? Yeah. Holds the yeah. lampshade, right. Okay. 
Yeah. That would be perfect. All right. So. So maybe you want the the base, the bottom. Thicker, why? Added what? weight. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Right. I mean, you don't have to try to create something that's super, yeah, the wall itself you're talking about. Oh, yeah. Right. Because it would help it out. I, I think, you know, because of the fact that you have, you're going to throw it with a little pot in the center, that's going to give you additional weight. So I don't think you have to worry about you know, making a conscious decision about keeping it thick. Um, and also, you know, this little business on top, you can always go back to that after it's leather hard and clean that up, you know, if, if you're struggling with really getting it nice and, and crisp or, um, or the right size. I mean, the main thing is that you don't it too much and that you know of course you can always trim it to be a little a little wider too if it does get too narrow Okay, I'll go ahead and cut it off right now, um, and then try to get it to dry enough so I can 